Hello everyone, Avery here and welcome back to another speed build house makeover uh, video. So this time we're actually doing the family lake house and we're just taking a look at it here now. I just want to say real quick that uh, if you notice that the sound is improved this time around, uh, it's because my my pop filter actually broke a little while back so I had to record without a pop filter and it just... Uh, it captured all of this noise from around the room and uh, it was just really annoying but the sound should be so much better now I've got a new pop filter uh, so yeah let's just take a look around the house here so I really like this house and the reason that I chose this is because it was a super simple house and uh, the person who did it actually wrote in the description that uh, he only had the base game and he would like to see what could be done with the house uh, when you had uh, more options um, and I also like this house because it felt like a more blank slate than any other of the houses uh, so as you can see there's it's just simply white and blacks and grays in this house uh, apart from the uh, toddler room which I didn't actually do anything to because I really liked how it looked uh, but the attention to detail in this house I must say is really great I'm overall really pleased how everything looked here so there's certain parts where you will only see me change like the color of, st of stuff and I kind of keep the base uh, furniture that was there uh, but yeah, let's just jump into the speedy build of the part here. So again, this is a really big build. Um, and first of all, I didn't actually see that the lake uh, was actually not a lake. It's just a fountain. And for some reason, uh, it wasn't a pool, uh, which was really interesting to me. And I thought about changing that. And you're going to see me do that. Uh, trying to change it, but it was just too much work uh, to try to re recreate that uh, because when you actually delete the fountain, uh, you have to put it in the pool, but they can't be next to each other because then the game flips out and says, nope, not, uh, not possible, and it was just too much work. So I just kept it the way that it was and I actually liked it because it kind of felt like there was some depth to it. Um, but yeah, I'm just changing uh, colors here. I'm actually going through different color types on this house because I wanted to bring some color into this build. Uh, I just felt it looked, um, I don't want to say bland, but it just needed something to kind of uh, lift it up. Uh, so I originally went for the uh, yellow house here with the kind of different bricks types and stone types um, and I didn't really like that uh, after a while of working on it I really did not enjoy how that looked um, and I deleted some windows here and there uh, but yeah I just I was not into it um, at first I really did like how it looked and then I just changed my mind really quick uh, because it was not the kind of color I was looking for. And then I was looking through different types of greens here. Uh, just to kind of try to find something that would make the house pop. Um, and yeah, looking for I was looking for a green here and I chose this pastel color green uh, from the uh, wallpaper section. And I really liked how that looked. It was just, it was a nice contrast to the brick and it was nice contrast to to the um, to the house itself. And just, uh, I really liked how that looked. Uh, so here I was just going around deleting plants and trying to, you know, trying to get some more space to work in uh, because those plants were actually really distracting and it was just like, yeah, no, not gonna happen. Um, and here you're seeing me trying to figure out how to make the fountain into a pool. And uh, yeah, that was just not happening either. I realized that that would be way too much work to do. Um, and it actually looked good the way that it was. So 
I just decided to keep it the way that it was. Uh, I also changed the trimmings to white colors uh, just because I felt like white actually made the green aspect of the house pop even more, which was a really nice thing. Um, and we're gonna change uh, the wallpaper of some of the house as well. Uh, before there was this uh, entrance up to the house, uh, which was in uh, kind of like this concrete um, flooring. And I actually thought about kind of uh, doing that with the uh, wooden flooring that I'm using here. Uh, but it just didn't feel right. So I actually chose to have uh, that terrain painted instead and just kind of mimic what was there before but kind of putting my own twist on it so having kind of like this um this piece where there's like uh fencing and then we have like uh stuff at the top for for plants to rest on and stuff um here i was also working on trying to i wanted to keep as much as the old house as possible uh but still putting my own twist on it uh, and the way that I tried to do that was to incorporate my uh, style into the existing house, uh, like I do with these makeover builds. But I just felt like some aspect of the house was just too um, too grand for it working for me. So, uh, like the uh, oh, I'm not, I can't remember what those are called in English uh kind of like um these shader things i'm not sure what to call those those ah oh, damn it uh but yeah i i built one over the balcony that we see in the front here and there was also one in the back balcony um and i at first made them the same size as or roughly the same size as the original but i soon came uh to to think that it, that was just it just looked too big and uh i did something else um and i think it turned out really great i was and as you can see i'm just working kind of all over the place here because i had a lot of different ideas of what i wanted to do with the build uh and i was trying to <laughs> to keep everything in in my head at the same time um so yeah, this is actually a build recorded over several days uh, because it is summertime here in Denmark and that means in my line of work that there are a lot of dining guests uh, that want food and that means that I'm working the whole summer and I mean literally the whole summer. I'm working every single day almost uh, from early in the morning to late night. Um, so I was... I'm trying to do as many builds as possible for there, just so there is some content uh, for you guys to enjoy over the summer while I'm working my ass off. Uh, and if you are wondering what line of work I'm in, I am a chef uh, and I'm working crazy hours and YouTube is uh, is actually a really hard job to do while you're also doing what I do um but I love doing it and uh it's just uh time management as you would say so I really liked what uh he did with the path that kind of goes around the place now I do think that initially he the build was facing the other way um and I kind of see why but I wanted this grand entrance to be in the front and then having kind of like this little pathway go around the lake instead. So we kind of have the house in the middle and the grand um, kind of little pathway going around here. I thought that was a much cooler idea than before. And uh, that's why I also took the mailbox from the back, which was the front before, and kind of moved it to the new front of the house. Um and I just added some details uh, here and there just to kind of uh, break up, you know, the fact that uh, there wasn't too many plants, but mostly stones. Uh, so here was what I was talking about before. I tried to make this feel somewhat different and not having these uh, 
shader hanging things i can't remember what they're called but i try to not make them feel as big as before and kind of make them have their own uh little place but not feel as tacked on if that makes any sense whatsoever um and on this side of the build before there was a lot of windows i deleted those uh just because i felt like uh there was so many windows in this build that uh, deleting a few of the windows would actually uh, complement the build better. And then I put in some smaller windows that kind of hides behind the um, the wall uh, flowers. And uh, yeah, then I was just kind of working on the... Um, on the greens here going around the place before there was kind of like just one plant doing uh doing the stuff of hiding the uh trimming all around the place and i wanted to feel i wanted it to feel a bit more realistic looking uh so i put a lot of different plants in and kind of mixed and matched and put them a uh, kind of random placement uh just to kind of create this illusion that they are kind of grown by themselves and then i put in some shrubberies and uh, these smaller trees to kind of give it a feel of a bit more realistic looking and of course ferns and uh stuff like that because um, this is a lake and i kind of feel like that goes really well together with a lake theme um and yeah as you can see already now we kind of have a bit more of a lighter tone and a more um I want to say friendly looking tone, but it just, I really feel the green and I like how it's just popping out uh, and making the build stand out so much more. I haven't actually done any green houses, I believe. Uh, there was run one uh, like way back, uh, but that was kind of like this lime green. And I really do think that this kind of really dark green color is just so phenomenal to work with um and i don't know why i haven't done that before uh, to be honest because i really do like how it turned out um i need to stop saying really right now so um yeah i was just uh going around here trying to figure out what to do next um and we needed the door to go out to the uh kind of deck let's just call it a deck because that's basically what it is um and before here there was a like seating area uh with a barbecue and stuff and i really wanted to damn it <laughs> i still wanted to have that uh feature in here uh and then i put in a little a place to keep wood because I initially wanted to have a fireplace in this build because I thought okay lake house fire builds kind of go hand in hand but I couldn't actually figure out well where to place that fireplace uh, just because the infrastructure in this house is super good managed uh, and we I was just okay so this like no place for me to do this um so i ended up not putting in a fireplace but still it's nice it's a nice feature to have that just kind of like if you wanted to build a fire or something um so yeah and uh yeah we have a lot of balconies in this build as well so that was actually something um I was trying to figure out where to put different types of things in the balconies and uh, what to put in there. Um, and inside here, we are again doing the green from the outside. Uh, I wanted to bring that inside as well. Uh, because as you can see, the theme inside here is just uh, blacks and whites and grays. And I wanted to break that up um, by doing... Uh, a lot of color in here but still keeping the theme of the green so i allowed myself to have a uh wooden flooring uh that was gray and i was trying to complement that with the fact that we would put in a lot of colorful uh items so i started off with the um 
dining room here and uh, initially wanted to have this really colorful, damn it, <laughs> I wanted to have this really colorful uh, uh, dining table and these colorful chairs. And to be honest, I can't actually remember what I went with in the end because I chose so many different types of things in here and changed colors and I was just all over the place trying to figure out what to do. Uh, but I really did, damn it, <laughs> I did like how the orange and the green look together. Um, and you know, mid mismatched uh, chairs actually... It's just something I really like. Just bring something to the table, and uh, I actually had I I broke uh, I bought um, uh, some old chairs from a thrift shop here in Denmark, and I actually plan on painting them different colors to kind of go together with the whole uh, theme of my apartment, which is. Um, yeah, I actually have a lot of uh, white and black and gray furniture here, uh, which is really boring. But I'm trying to implement a colorful stuff on the walls and on the shelves and stuff uh, to kind of accommodate for that. So, yeah. Uh, initially, I wanted to have this orange look in the kitchen, but I decided to go with the whites and then complement them with some aspect of green uh in the kitchen and I think it turned out I was about to say it I think it turned out pretty nice um, it's different and it's not something I've done before uh, it's a big kitchen uh, and initially I thought about actually scaling that down a bit to put in a bathroom but I actually liked the way that the infrastructure in this build was so I tried to keep everything the same place as it was before so I didn't actually touch anything in the uh, children's room um, like the toddler room I didn't change anything in there because I don't believe that I could have done a better job at it and I think it was a very nice room um, so working on the one of the living rooms here this is a smaller of the living rooms uh, again I chose colors that would complement the greens, uh, but also tried to kind of keep them neutral uh, looking and kind of have them uh, be somewhat neutral to the fact that that we had like this really crazy looking background with this really popping green color. Um, and of course, uh, some some colors in the form of the um of the uh oh damn it of the tables like little side tables and stuff and uh lots of plants so in here before there was a um study area and i was looking around to actually see there's only like one master bedroom and the toddler room and i wanted to have another bedroom just like a little guest bedroom or something um Nothing special, so I just I kept the wall with the um with the television on it, and uh, then I just added a bed and some some furniture just to kind of make it look a bit more guest room e esque. And uh, you're not ap actually able to use that mirror; uh, it's just decoration purpose only. Uh, so yeah, just keep that in mind. Moving upstairs here. We're almost finished with the build, I promise. But uh, moving upstairs here, I actually, um, I actually kept the rooms the way that they were, so I didn't actually change that much. Um, yeah, again, just putting uh, the color on, uh, you know, the the green color up here. <coughs> Excuse me, and. Uh, then I decided to flip the living room around. So before it was just kind of going out and I wanted it to to face the other way. Um, and again, I'm trying to bring a lot of color into the build in form of paintings and little furniture that has like this popping color. Um, 
which is something I'm I, I found recently and I'm saying this a lot, but I found recently that to be the best way to complement uh furniture and uh it kind of makes that you can kind of choose a bit more of a bolder uh or a more brave looking um wallpaper like this really dark green uh color that really pops out and i just feel like that makes you you have the ability to then choose furniture that is like um more neutral in color but then complement that with paintings and rugs and like little small details here and there that actually makes the the whole room just feel like it's popping out at you and then i needed a place to put the uh now uh office that is gone i needed a place to put that uh somewhere else so i just decided to do a little space here and mostly just also because i didn't actually have anything to do in uh in this like little hallway um so yeah just a little little office area with a little desk and a computer uh the the room in here i actually i did not hate it it was it's really good but i just tried to break it up a bit choose some more light toned colors and uh you know put some some colors on the walls and uh yeah just i tried to break it up a bit um make it feel a bit more alive and then putting in my favorite closet uh which I really like just because it feels so much more realistic and a chair, some some uh, plants and stuff and that's just kind of it. And the bathroom, the infamous bathroom, uh, I chose that last. And this is actually the only bathroom in the house. Um, and as I said before, I was actually juggling around with putting in a bathroom down below, but I decided that this was fine. Uh, and then I changed the color in here to a red color. So we're working with red and gray and uh, white and black in here. And of course, putting in some plants and stuff. Uh, but that's kind of it. Um, and uh, yeah, this is a finished build as we jump into the screenshots here. So this is where, right when you walk into the builds. Um, and as you can see, I, I actually kept a lot of the furniture the way that they were. Uh, and I changed some stuff, but I think it turned out pretty freaking nice in the end. And it's, there's just something about uh, bringing in this really bright popping color into a house and then complementing that with uh, small furniture here and there to kind of make it pop even more. Um, the guest room here, the upstairs living room. Um... Again, oh my god, I love that carpet rock thing. I, I just, I think it's freaking awesome. Uh, here we have the bathroom. Um, and I think it turned out really nice in here as well with the red color. Kind of can contrast to just to do something different. And uh, the master bedroom here as we, uh, as we kind of jump into the screenshots of the outside here. So I don't actually have a uh, before and after picture just because I didn't actually take any pictures of the before uh, house. I totally forgot about that. But if you want to check out the original house, you can do that on the gallery. And also you can find this build, this variation of the build on the gallery as well. And uh, yeah, there's nothing else for me to say. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, if you enjoyed it, be sure to leave it a big like, subscribe and share with your friends. And um, yeah, just uh, I hope you enjoyed this build and just have a truly fantastic day wherever you are in the world. And I will see you next time for another video.